When a child is born with a severe deformation of the ear, there is actually a 30-day window of opportunity to correct the problem without surgery. This is accomplished by attaching a type of mold to the baby's skull, which actually reshapes the soft cartilage of the ear. It's never very serious from a functional standpoint. Most of these children can hear just fine. It's only bothersome from an aesthetic perspective in that it looks abnormal and it could lead to teasing and other things like that. Now, the most important thing people need to be aware of when it comes to these congenital ear deformities are that it is easy to fix them. There's a way to fix them very early in life. Within the first 30 days of life, you can take these ear deformities and... Uh, you can put on what's called an infant ear well. You can Google ear well and check it out. What it is is it tapes onto the skull, and then there's an external molding device that can mold the ear to look more normal. Now, you only have a 30-day window to do this after birth because it's the mom's estrogens, mom's hormones from when they were a baby inside their mother that allow the cartilage to be molded. And as soon as that estrogen sort of wears away, it's no longer effective. But even in America, ear deformations are often not fixed this way. In that case, doctors usually wait until a child is between 6 and 10 years old before operating to correct the defect. If we're talking about an otoplasty, which is just sort of reshaping an ear that doesn't look right, but the ear is present, that's usually just one operation. Um, same day surgery, no need to spend the night in the hospital as long as the child is healthy. It involves an incision behind the ear. And then from the incision behind the ear, generally different maneuvers are done to reshape the ear and make it look normal. But it's usually um, a pretty safe operation. The biggest risks are you don't correct the deformity. So under correction or recurrence of whatever was wrong before. Benjamin Brown is a plastic surgeon who specializes in congenital ear defects. That means ear defects you're born with. He says a much rarer condition is when the ear is not only deformed, but almost completely missing. A more serious, but fortunately more rare, deformity or re really a defect, if you want to think about it that way, is microtia. So this is where nearly the whole ear is absent or not present. This is more complicated. To reconstruct this, there's basically three main ways to do that. One is to wear a prosthesis. A prosthesis is a plastic ear the wearer could remove at night. It is not the only solution. The other is to um, put different materials under the skin that remains that look like an ear. Most commonly in the United States, we do that by harvesting cartilage from the ribs, carving an ear out of it, and tucking it under the skin that remains to look like an ear. Dr. Brown says even this more radical ear reconstruction has a good rate of success. We define success in microtic ear construction as creating an ear that doesn't draw attention to itself. It'll never look perfectly normal, but we do our best to make it not obvious. Um, the, comp the worst complication is that you lose the whole graft. So the piece of cartilage that gets moved up there, if it gets infected or exposed, and sometimes the whole piece of cartilage can be lost. And then the tissue becomes scarred, and then it's another problem. And it's hard, really hard to make a good ear after that. These autoplasty, or ear reconstruction techniques, have been around for a number of decades. So what's new on the horizon? Scientists are hoping one day to be able to grow a patient a whole new ear to graft on in place of a deformed one. There is on the forefront um, thoughts of sort of engineering ears from tissue in a lab and being able to put it back on the person's body. So we're How close are we to doing that. We're still too far from that. For, so far that it's not really considered an option yet because it's not an option yet. It's just something that's talked about. For now, quite a few patients from the Gulf countries come to America for ear reconstruction. But as Saudi Arabia builds up its medical capacity, the kingdom's doctors should soon be able to handle many of these cases themselves. Deformations of the ear generally don't interfere with hearing, but they can be a significant aesthetic problem, causing children to be teased and adults to have a noticeable blemish on their appearance. The good news is that most congenital ear defects can be fairly easily repaired by a skilled plastic surgeon. For Saudi Good Morning, this is Burton Bolag in Washington.